Hi little troopers, today it's Tuesday and today you're going to meet another Letterlander. What is that? Another friend from Letterland. Look, I got him with me. Do you know his name? His name is Munching Mike. Can you say it with me? Munching Mike. And see, there's something very special with our with our friend. How many legs does Munching Mike has? Let's count together. One, two, and three. He got three legs. And that is quite strange because usually some monsters only got two legs or four legs. But this monster, our friend Munching Mike, he got three legs. Another special thing is he's made out of metal. Yes, and he loves to munch. Um, yum, yum, yum. He loves to munch many things, but especially he loves munching. Let's see what we have here. What is this? A magnet. Can you say magnet with me? Good job. So this is our friend Munching Mike. And what is the sound that Munching Mike makes when he munches? Mmm! It's like when you eat something and you like it, so you can rub your tummy and you say you say mmm. See my lips are sealed. Mmm! Good job! See as I told you our friend Munching Mike got three legs and do you know why, why is that? Because what letter is this? Yes, it's letter M. See, here we got the uppercase M and here we got the lowercase M. And what is the sound of the letter M and our friend Munching Mike? Mmm. Work time. Now, let's see if we can find things in this picture that starts with letter M. Like monkey, mango, magnet, moon, milk. Fun time! Are you ready to have some fun now? I'm going to teach you how to make a musical instrument. Can you say musical instrument? What is the first letter of the word musical? You're right, it's letter M. M musical okay but it's a very special instrument because you know we are learning about weather this week so we're going to use paper roll to make the sound of the rain and how are we going to do that you need one a kitchen paper roll some rice a spoon if you have a fennel, if not, you can use your hand and some foil paper. You need two pieces. See, one is bigger than the other one. Also, you need a piece of paper or cardboard and some glue. So first, you're going to take the paper roll and you're going to make one circle. Okay? And you need two circles because this is going to go on top. Once you got, you got it, you need to make a bigger circle. And now you got it. It's okay if it's not perfect because we are going to use it. To cover this so it needs to be bigger than the hole okay so when you got it once you got it you're going to cut pieces like this so you make the cuts so you can bend and it's easier to paste once you cut it you're going to use scotch tape to paste it 
So it needs to look like this. Okay, now we're going to take one of the foil papers and we're going to use the handle of the spoon just to give it shape, okay? So we're going to take this and we're going to roll it. And now we squeeze. We squeeze, 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 okay? We're going to do the same thing with, with, the, other, with the other paper foil. As you can see, here I got the smaller piece of foil and here I got, I got the, the bigger one. So you're going to take the handle of the broom and you're going to use it to give it some shape, okay? See? And it's going to look like this. When this is done, you're going to put the smaller one and thinner one inside the bigger one, okay? Like this. And you're going to put this inside our paper roll. If this is too long, you can use a pair of scissors and you just cut it. Now you're going to take some rice, only a, a handful of rice, and you're going to put it inside. If you have a fennel, it's much easier. Once you put the rice inside, you're going to cut the second piece of cardboard paper and you're going to paste it on the other side. Once you finish putting the other cover on the other side of our paper roll, you need to start turning it around very slowly. Let's see if you can hear the rain. Can you hear it? And then you turn it around again, very slowly. Because listen, listen what happens if we shake it. Does it sound like a rain? No, right? So we need to be very gentle and turn it around very slowly. Okay, once you're done, you can use markers or color tapes and you can decorate your rain stick. I hope you like your music instrument and later, if you make some music, you can share it with us. See you later.